All right, guys, let's talk about warts. Warts are caused by human papillomavirus, also known as HPV. These are non-enveloped, double-stranded DNA viruses that are literally everywhere. Although they require human tissue to complete their life cycles, they're extremely stable in the environment. Due to their non-enveloped structure, they're resistant to heat, desiccation, or drying out, and can viably persist on surfaces for up to seven days. We're talking about surfaces like ultrasound probes, clothing, anything in the doctor's office. HPV most commonly causes papillomas, which are benign outgrowths of the skin, and warts. High-risk HPV subtypes like 16, 18, 31, 33, and 45 can lead to cancer, including cervical cancer, other anogenital cancers like penile cancer, cancers of the airway and the GI tract, and squamous cell carcinoma of the skin of the digits. I wanna clarify that common HPV subtypes like one, two, and 27 do not appear to be linked to cancer. Genital warts are most commonly caused by HPV 6 and 11 and are not carcinogenic. In my clinic, I see scalp warts a lot. When people find out they have warts on their scalps, they're usually freaked out. But honestly, it's a pretty common problem that I see and it's, and it's relatively easy to treat. I recently came across a study that gave me some insight as to why scalp warts are so common. The authors of this study concluded that scalp warts may be caused by visiting your barber. This was a paper published by a group of military dermatologists. Enlisted military people, particularly men, are often required to keep their hair really short while they're in active duty. That means they get haircuts really often to give themselves a buzzed cut look. The study looked at three barber shops where their military personnel had their haircuts. Each of these barber shops was found to correctly follow disinfection techniques that were standard in the haircutting industry. Despite following these sanitary protocols, genetic material correlating with HPV 5, 10, 49 and 92 was recovered from their clippers and the clipper guard. They also found a high incidence of other viruses, including Merkel cell polyomavirus, rhinovirus, human coronavirus, and others. The authors concluded that clippers are actually fomites and can transmit the spread of viruses, including HPV, which may be the cause for why you develop warts on your scalp. Apparently, the investigators started implementing a bleach wipe protocol to disinfect all of the surfaces in their dermatology offices in hopes to reduce the transmission of HPV to their patients. I think it's a pretty eye-opening study. In my own office, we don't use bleach wipes to wipe down our surfaces or our treatment devices like our cryotherapy guns, but apparently using dilute bleach wipes is the only way to reduce infectivity of these HPV particles. It's something that I'm gonna start to implement. Just as a commentary, I've developed warts on my fingers over the past five years or so, and I don't get them very often, maybe once or twice a year, or even less frequent, maybe once every other year. I often wonder if my own patients gave me HPV because of me not being aware of the proper disinfection techniques. Takeaway from this video is cut your own dang hair. Just kidding, peace out.